Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Anibi So. I'm from Sabah. Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Azam Fahmi. I'm from Wilayah Kusituan. Assalamualaikum. My name is Azizid Azim bin Muhammad Azam. I'm from Perlis. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good morning. In this week's program, we are going to discuss about what is conservation tillage. All of you should, should all of you maybe know, maybe not what is conservation tillage. You know what is tillage, but you don't know how to conserve the tillage. There are conventional, there are conservation tillage. Then don't stop watching me. I will show you the practices, the factors, the benefits in this program, in this 10 minutes program. Focus on your television, don't change. methods of cultivation soil, any method of soil cultivation that is uh, that is being used by plant residues such as corn, maize. After we already take, uh, after we already harvest the crops, we could take the plant itself and then we could make it uh, as the, or we could take it to use for conservation tillage. It is a plant residue. We could use many things to make or uh, to apply this conservation tillage methods. This is the first things that you should know before, uh, because after this, I'm going to bring all of you, all the audience, to move to the practices and the benefits and the regarding of this conservation tillage to the sustainable agriculture approach. Don't miss me. We will meet again after this with me, Mr. A. Bye. Control the weed. You can see your your soil surface a lot of weed. So you uh, when you put the matching, uh, you will uh, reduce the um, weed and then you will uh, use uh, not use uh, herbicide. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, I think besides uh, reducing the cost of herbicide, uh, is there any uh, benefit if uh, I apply that matching? As you told us already, that uh, your soil uh, have a run run off type, so it will uh, reduce the run off. So the fertilizer will reserve. So you can um, 
since the budget for the fertilizer. Oh, that's why lah I need to apply fertilizer every month. It increase your cost, right? Yeah. Yes, it increase my cost and it so irritating. Mm, if I apply multi, uh, what materials that I need to use? Oh, you said you want to reduce the cost, right? You can uh, use cut grasses or foliage or you can co uh, use any straw materials. You can reduce your cost, right? Mm, by doing that, uh, does it affect uh, environment? Actually, when you apply mulching on the soil surface, it will reduce the volatile nitrogen uh, at the atmospheres because it, uh, it will reduce the gas nitrous oxide. Uh, this mean greenhouse. Oh, so that uh, my yield can increase yeah. through mulching. Yes, absolutely. Mm, I think I should try this tomorrow. Thank you for your help. It's okay, we are friends, right? Congratulations, Chilot. You've got all the advantages of mulching. So, I think it depends on us. Either to adopt or deny. Just wait, try and see. The, the choice, choice is in your hand. hand. Oh, guys. The second practices of the cultivation tillage is a chipping. Can you see this? This is a chipping area with a large amount of chipping pieces of oil trunk. Normally, this process is about to faster up or rapidly the chipping process. That means the plant residue is conserved to the soil. Okay, this is a example of a chipping pieces. The width of the chipping pieces is uh, is about uh, five to ten inches. As simple as you can see, this chipping is a no tillage type. This uh, means that we just chip the plant or we just cut the oil palm tree and we just bring it decomposition itself. Okay, today we want to discuss about the chipping practices. What is chipping? Chipping we do when first step when we want to do land clearing. For example, like this. Okay, what we could relate? Chipping with the sustainable agriculture practices. First is soil productivity. What we could say about the soil productivity there are three points when we do chipping that give advantage to the soil productivity first is when we do chipping usually automatically we can make the moisture retention in our soil this situation makes the plant grow well in its 
moisture type of the soil. Second is nutrient content. When we do chipping, the plant residue will decompose naturally and make the nutrient availability in the soil. Okay, the third point is temperature control. When we do chipping, eventually make the soil surface to be prevented from directed sunlight to expose to the soil solution and make the increasing of the soil temperature. This soil temperature will make the soil become unfertile and become the microorganism in the soil to death. Okay. We move to the next sustainable agriculture practices in which farm profitability. Okay. When we do chipping, eventually make the wheat suspension. We could control wheat germination when the direct exposure of the sunlight would not move, would not meet to the soil surface and make the wheat not to be germinate. This, this situation, we could control our cost to control the wheat. For example, costing in fungicide, herbicide, and the others. Also, we could control pests. For example, Ganoderma, when it exposed to the right, direct sunlight and they will die eventually with the high temperature. Okay. Hi, we meet again. We are already in the end of this episode. You meet with you meet again with me. Okay. Today, uh, this week we already see the practices such as uh, how you doing mulching, you doing chipping. These are the practices that I already shows you in this episode. I hope all of you really enjoy. But in this time, I would like to tell to all of you regarding there are many types of tillage. But today we just show to all of you what is no tillage methods which means that we just take from the plant residue for instance maize and then this oil palm you just cut it you chip it and then you leave or you left the plant residue itself on the soil you know uh, as the definition itself conservation fish from plant residue it will stay on the soil and then it will prevent from soil erosion and runoff okay basically okay uh, in this program you should know there are three basically as my friend said sustainable agriculture okay for the first thing reduce cost regarding the reduce cost for instance when you make a plant decompose you know such as you do chipping you already decompose or you use the maize itself you cut the trees and then you leave it on the soil from that trees it will produce it will move out you know it will produce the nutrient the the nutrient the carbon and and all nutrient a good nutrient you know to the soil then we do not need to to buy a fertilizer anymore fertilizer will cost you a lot okay and the next thing is that you think as my friend said reduce environmental pollution this means when uh, you put a lot of manuring fertilizing activity you know uh, when there's not a lot of uh, runoff then the, the manure uh, the fertilizer itself will move to the river and then it will become a pollution and the last one is soil fertility let me see okay guys in this place you can see you see you see the soil itself it's quite fertile you see the black in color it's quite fertile this means that the fertility of the soil you know when you do the sustainable agriculture the soil itself i think we already end uh, in the end of this program i hope that all of you really enjoy with my with our group or with this episode i hope that you will never miss me again in another episode in agrotech which is maybe next week we are going to discuss about rspo rentable sustainable palm oil we'll meet again next week from us thank you agrotech bye from agrotech meet you next episode